Yeah. It's your boy girl up here back another video and today Whew. I got a special video guys I mean, today we're gonna be back with um the review I'm not reviewed but like a Zenkai awakening for the next LF Zenkai so the last LF Zenkai we got was actually Rose her LF Zenkai's and we got the next one we got the new one here you guys can see it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolve, Vegeta's getting a Zenkai Awakening tomorrow. So tomorrow reset, you guys know PvP season ends tomorrow. So that reset, he's going to get a Zenkai and everything. They didn't really preview anything about his kit. They just kind of just made this little dope little trailer. So I guess we can kind of give it a watch. And then um, I'm just going to talk in more in depth about what they can add to his kit. And then the team that he buffs. And then that's going to be pretty much with the video. So if you guys are new, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Turn on the noties and all that good stuff. And let's check this trailer out. All right, well, that's it, bro. That is it. So let's take a look at this Vegeta, man. So this Vegeta, let's actually move this up here. Put all his max stats. So this guy's a yellow god key unit. You guys know that USS Vegeta clan and everything like that. So let's actually look at his kit, bro. Let's actually look at his kit. Let's actually try to see what things that they can actually add to his kit. So main ability, I think the biggest thing with his main ability that they can off just off the off the um just off the jump that they can do is give him key. You got to give him key for this ultimate card. There's no way he pops the ultimate card and gets no key from it. So I think that's the biggest thing they got to do is give him key. Me personally, I think they should also give him more ultimate damage, bro. Because only 20% ultimate damage is uh not enough. So I think that's the two things that I'll probably add here. I mean, he does grant it. Well, granted, he does get the extra 20 here. So he actually is getting 40. So maybe, I like to say, he needs to get key. So if there's anything that they need to add is give him key. Now, if they wanted to add some other stuff, like maybe, I don't know, car draw speed or something like that. Because he does he has no car draw speed off his, uh, off his kid. His kid is basically just him drawing cards and expecting people to switch in front of him. So maybe, like, give him car draw speed for, like, 10 time accounts. And then give him key. That's that's the two biggest things I'll probably give him. He already nullifies cover change, which is nice. He already gives he already has 40 ult. He already heals himself by 35, which is really good. I would say give him key. Probably give him card draw speed. If you don't give him card draw speed in his other unique abilities, then give him card draw speed here. If not, then give him key and maybe maybe like 20 damage inflicted, probably. Something like that. So let's move on to the unique ability. Now his unique ability is actually Interesting. Now, the reason why I say it's interesting because he does have 90 damage inflicted, which is cool. 30, reduced damage. So, in terms of reduced damage, he actually does get an extra 20 when he cover change. So, I don't know if they're going to give him, like, maybe an extra 20 reduction of damage. Because he's only getting 50 reduction of damage. And that's only when he cover change. So, when he's just out there in the field, he's only reducing damage by 30. Which, you know, he can take a lot of damage. But he is a Zenkai unit. So, he is going to have the high buff stats and everything like that. So, his, he probably don't need too much reduction in damage, so if they was to give it to him, maybe an extra 15 to 20 would be nice because he is relying off the cover chains to get 50 right there. Now, anything else that I would add to him? I think the biggest issue will probably be this ability right here. It's because he has two, he has two unique abilities right here. He has that right there, and he has this right here where he's relying on other things to happen, restricted things to happen for him to build up even more damage inflicted. So you got to use this Vegeta where he's around this 35 key area. So every time his key is lower than 35, after using a card, he gets key by 20 and then 25 damage inflicted. So say, for example, you're comboing 
and you're towards your end of the combo you want to go to this vegeta and then that's how he's able to, to maybe get some like just high damage inflicted buffs right there but not every single time you land a combo with this vegeta that's going to happen you know that this is just when you're playing legends it's just not going to happen you're not going to always be at 35 key and all this stuff like you got to set him up for him to really ramp up from these other damage and then even here when an enemy switches characters he gets an extra 20 so then you're relying off key having low amount of key and you're relying off people to switch in front of him for him to gain an extra card gain more damage like they get his key by gaining damage inflicted so i don't know if they're going to have a way where maybe when he enters the field he maybe gets an extra 25 damage inflicted just like when he enters the field because i mean 90 is cool and they probably won't even change anything right there but i just don't like the fact how restricted these two things are for him to get even more damage inflicted so Maybe just to increase stats, that'll probably help him out, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But that's going to be interesting to see. Do they give him more damage afflicted? Because if you do give him more damage afflicted, and then these stuff actually procs actually happen in the game, then he's going to start melting units. So they actually kind of have to be careful with this. But I just hate how restricted these are, too, at the same time. So it's kind of like you just... You don't really know how much damage he's actually going to portray for each combo because certain things might happen in certain combos, like... He might be, when he enters the field, he gets 35, he, he's at 50 key, right? So, me personally, when he enters the field, you probably don't even want him to gain key because you want him to be at low key so he can get this extra, so he can get that 35 key mark. So, say, for example, you're at 30 key, and you go to Vegeta, and they give him, like, oh, he restores key by 50 when he enters this field. That will hurt his purpose of this, of this whole unique ability here. So, me personally, maybe up this up to maybe 45 key. Or something put this up to 45 key or lower that would be nice if you don't want to give him key like probably up this up to 45 or 40 key so 35 i feel like is way too low so maybe put this up to 45 i think 45 would be a cool number everything else here he does have a he does have a sense for killer revival so granted now this is pretty nice because we do have revival super saiyan blue goku running around a lot of not super saiyan uh revival ui sign goku that's running around the yellow one so when he does kill that goku he can go type neutral so against red the only red you're really seeing is hit so and pan so type neutral against pan and, and hit for 30 time counts is nice destroying dragon balls are really cool so this is actually a pretty nice ability since you're seeing you're starting to see some revival ui gokus with with 17 and everything like that so that'll actually be really nice there too so he also cover changes with a blue card he has a you know when you cover change blast cover change has a blue card damage i want i actually like his blue card because his blue card actually goes type neutral here as well so pop a blue card against hit or whatever you see what i'm saying like type neutral that's nice right there his blast card is nice reduced damage by 30 i think this could be up by 50 because 30 they're going to get their key back it doesn't really affect them but that's nice and then the green card is really nice so he actually gets an extra reduced damage and he gets an extra 25 damage inflicted which maybe what i can see him doing is when he enters the field maybe two to three times he get he gains a green card so he can get some extra damage and then some extra reduction of damage and draws a card. Maybe that's what they might do when he enters the field. He might get two cards, two green cards, the first two times into the field or something like that. So that'll be pretty nice. Ultimate damage is pretty cool. You know, like I said, he has 40 ult, 50, minus 50 cut, blast armor. And uh, yeah, so I'm curious to see how he um, how he's gonna be now. So we take a look at his tags, right? Take a look at his tags. You know, God Key, biggest person that he's going to be uh, facing up against is actually going to be um, Trunks and Vegeta. Now, the reason with Trunks and Vegeta, the problem with Trunks and Vegeta, they don't actually buff God Key. They don't buff God Key. They're part of God Key tag, but they don't buff God Key at all. So, you have to leader slot this Vegeta for him to get the God Key buffs and all that good stuff. But this guy, I mean, he's on God Key. So, if you guys don't have this guy and you guys love God Key, you guys can definitely rock them together. You can rock this guy. This uh, Goku right here and it's a monster. So this is like a really nice blast based team here. If you guys don't have Trunks and Vegeta, or you guys can most likely, he might buff God Key. He might buff Vegeta Clan, Yellow Vegeta Jan or Yellow God Key. So he could be a Zenkai buffer for Trunks and Vegeta. But if he does USS, then they won't get the Zenkai buff. So if they're Vegeta Clan or God Key, they're gonna get it. But if they don't, then USS is pr this probably gonna be probably could be USS. So um, Zenkai buff him for sure and let's hop to the next team now vegeta clan 
Vegeta Clan will have two yellow blast base units. Um, they also have this free to play trunks here. That's really cool. So maybe the synergy with this trunks will be pretty nice because I know this trunks, I believe he gives them extra damage inflicted buffs. So when you switch out with them, maybe they're trying to see like this synergy between them. Might You might see some crazy synergy with them. I believe they this trunks gives them a card or there's three cards or fewer. So maybe something like that. So he's able to have a full deck of cards with low amount of key. Maybe some little synergy like that. They're trying, they was trying to, they was thinking about with this, this trunks right here to pair him up with this Vegeta, probably, probably like that, that would be probably pretty nice, um, Vegeta clan, like I said, they have them too, they have the tag fours, right, but, um, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how, how, how he is on Vegeta clan, because Vegeta clan, their best unit is strike base, and their blast base, but, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how the Vegeta clan people feel about his, his Zenkai, but next, last but not least, I mean, we do have Saiyans, but, his main, or you could probably say his best team is USS. Now the problem is he's USS. He doesn't buff Universe Rep on his uh, Z ability, so he can't be paired up with Seventeen. He can't be paired up with Jiren, Master Roshi. As a yellow, his main comp is Master Roshi. Master Roshi does have a powerful, powerful uh, broken ability with the Mafuba and everything like that. But um, other than that, that's what most. That's what really Roshi does. I mean, he has a quick blue card and quick green card animation, which that's really nice as well. But this Vegeta, I mean, this Vegeta's best team is gonna be USS. So if you guys are not the biggest fan of Roshi, and you guys like this Vegeta, you guys can definitely rock him here. He he can be paired up with Seventeen. He can be paired up with this Goku as well, right? So you can have this yellow, blue, greeny synergy. This is like his best team setup. He has someone that has endurance. He has someone that has revival. So he can kind of be like your main damage. Not really your main damage there, but he, he you know he'll be chilling, right? He has a nice synergy right here with this green, yellow, blue. He can do yellow, blue, purple with Jiren. Right, so um, his main cop will probably be Roshi, but I'm curious to see what they do to his, his Zenkai and everything like that. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, he can be ran on Sands, right? You know, he can be ran on Sands, but he, he has some cop with USV. You know, Bardock is is, is I, right? Um, and then he also has um, what's the other yellow unit? Where's the other yellow? Like, Trunks and Vegeta, like I said, and he has Goku 4, so maybe, uh, I wouldn't probably say on the Saiyans team, because the Saiyans are strike base, but USS and Gaki are going to be his best two teams, especially with Zamasu, double, like I said, Endurance, Revival, and then Endurance, and, uh, and Revival right here, so, yeah, I think, um, I think his Zenkai should be pretty solid, right, like, you don't see too many reds, the only reds he's, he's really having the main issue with is, is going to be hit and pan, but every team that he on has a powerful blue with 17, with with Zamasu, with with that free to play trunks. Like he has a, he has strong blues on every team that he's on. So I think he should be pretty solid in terms of his color. Let me know what you guys think. What you guys what you guys think they're gonna add to his abilities? What do you think he needs for him to be a top 10 unit? Um, because when he first came out, he wasn't he didn't really impact the meta. Remember when he first dropped, FSK was still running. Was still running the PvP meta, so he didn't really have that much shine. Now, granted, he did he did go type neutral with a blue card, and he did have times where he did pop off. But everyone was running FSK; he couldn't really stop FSK. So, hopefully, this time he's able to have a better impact than he did when he first released and all that good stuff. Um, I mean, he was a great counter to Revival Gohan, and like if he killed Revival Gohan, then he goes type neutral against FSK, right? But like you had to kill Revival Gohan first life with him for him to be super viable. With like I said, it's another situation that he had to do for him to be even viable, just like his kit. Just like those two unique abilities of him getting the damn deflected buffs. It's kinda of like the same thing where him killing Revival Gohan. He had to kill Revival Gohan for him to go type neutral to fair off against FSK, right? Like there's too many situation stuff that has to complete for him to really go crazy. So Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he does. Let's see what what stuff they add to his kit. How his stats look. How how you know the gameplay, the showcases goes, and everything like that. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Evo getting his Zenkai. It was bound to happen. So curious to see where it goes. USS buff still. And yeah, that's it with this video. So like, comment, subscribe, and real man, I'm out. Peace.